Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. We have a great video today. So today's video is on the Banks Pedal Monster 4, the 6.7 Power Stroke. I had this in my 2020 6.7 F350 single rear wheel and I loved it. I loved it. And the great people at Banks, they hooked me up with another one for this. The 2021 F450 Platinum with the 6.7 Power Stroke. So, I could drive it and I could tell you, man, this is great. This is awesome. Whatever. That's just me. That's just me. That's someone who already likes it. But instead, we've got a longtime Power Stroke owner. Uh, you guys probably know him, Danger Industries. He, uh, if you follow me, you probably follow him. He makes some great videos. He tows a lot. He had a, or he still has a, uh, the previous gen, a 6.7, an F250. Then he had a 2017 or 2018 F350, 6.7, dual rear wheel. And now he's got a 2020 King Ranch 6.7 Power Stroke F450. Awesome truck, beautiful truck. So, virtually the same truck as I have. Platinum and King Ranch, basically the same. Powertrain's the same. F450's wide front axle. So he's used to driving his truck. He pulled in in his truck, and then he jumped in my truck. So take a look at what he thinks about it. He was skeptical before, so let's see if he likes it. So just do a quick walk around. This is the truck that he used during the test. This is a 2021 F450 Platinum, antimatter blue, completely stock under the hood. I'll show you that right now, just so there's no, no second guessing. All right, so here it is. Stock air box, stock piping, EGR, everything hooked up. We got the DPF. She's stock, guys. Emissions on, DPF. All we have is the Banks Pedal Monster, which is hiding right up under here. Right there. There she is. Yeah. So did you want to put it to stock before we... No, all right. So we're in the 450. Kalen has never used the Banks Pedal Monster before. I haven't even heard of it. Never even heard of it. So like I said in a lot of videos, I don't really care for it that much while empty. I don't know who that is. But towing is when I really like using it because it just makes the load feel so much lighter. Okay. So right now we're in sport level two, which is where I use it all the time and you can see the difference that's, that's cool. the truck's doing that's instant so we'll go in this first and you can see what it's like and then we'll go in stock and then we'll put it up in track okay and we'll see okay. what the 430 like, what like the 430 it. gears and the low gearing acts like in the truck I like the am i allowed to do burnouts yeah sure yeah <laughs> the back <laughs> tires the back tires are still good <laughs> yeah all right you're this good this good. way this is peppy <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, the, that turbo jumps up right away. <laughs> yeah, it really helps with the turbo lag, big time. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I just like laid my foot on the throttle a little yeah. bit, and it just took it from there. It just started yeah. going. Yeah. That's fun. It is fun. If anything else, that's just fun. It is fun, for sure. And like, it is fun, empty. Um, I liked it in my 2020, because I had some other stuff done to that truck, and it sounded good, and you know, it, oh. sort, of, <laughs> it sort of felt like it was, you're like really fast i mean these trucks are fast but it's really towing is awesome with this truck with that there it just thinks the load you know like 32 000 pounds behind yeah. you and it yeah. doesn't feel like you're even hauling 10. i can i can see the responsiveness that's a big thing like how luggy especially with these 10 speeds yeah the more speeds you add the longer it is shifting the longer it is figuring out what you want to do yeah so having something to assert what you want let's go to like here. by the people yeah. that is definitely the way to go let's not oh, pull it in this. front of that yeah there we go that is a I actually, old school I think that we might be able to give him a run. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa, wheel spinning. Holy. There's no middle ground. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. It, it takes some getting used to to be able to use it properly. I'm yeah, sure. definitely, definitely. But it just wakes the truck up. Yeah. Cause I'm used to like, cause yeah, on mine, it is a complaint actually. I've complained about it before. You press on the throttle and nothing happens you give it a bit more throttle and it just starts to go like jerky yeah not smooth 
the response isn't like linear. No. That was like I put my foot in and it started yeah. going. Yeah, you can literally feel the torque like pushing you back yeah. in your seat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's do the throttle. <laughs> yeah, that builds boost quick. All right, so we'll get up here and we'll stop and we'll put it in stock for a second. Okay, yeah, yeah just to run with. And the... I can tell you that I haven't had this truck in stock for six or eight months, however mm. long I've had the yeah. thing. I want to make sure that it feels like mine does stop. Yeah. Make sure they didn't remap anything. And then, uh, then we'll put it up in track. Like anywhere. Yeah. So, so is, that, is that is that good? So you, you don't have to shut the truck off. Don't gotta do anything. No, it's just done oh, wow. right here. Okay, cool. Yeah. So now we're in stock. So the different profiles, they probably change like how it feels it's definitely just off your pedal um just responsiveness the only thing i find with uh so how does this feel in stock sluggish yeah sluggish <laughs> is the word like yeah we're in sixth seventh if i put my foot down it finally get there it finally gets yeah. there but it's not it goes down like one gear at a time yeah like the same amount of throttle actuation yeah right like that's about it seventh and then the power comes up literally seconds out. yeah like once it builds a boost it it, it responds sort of this the same one. but it's not even close like it's just so i'm gonna do exactly what i did before yep no there's nothing no no it didn't do anything yeah <laughs> i know it's pretty, i don't even it, understand it's pretty that. crazy yeah huh? <laughs> yeah what's it doing okay i gotta look at the boost gate it makes no sense. That's some magic shit. <laughs> That's on the like over I don't there. Know. People are skeptical. They don't believe it. I kind of want one. Now. Like, just, just to plug in when I'm not... And you can turn it off whenever you want. You can put it in stock yeah, whenever you want. Yeah, you just pull out the app. Yeah, it's just on your phone. Literally on your phone. And whenever you shut the truck off, it just stays to your last setting. It automatically just goes to your last setting. Yeah, the boost takes a long time. You're already... Yeah, so what I notice is... By the time the boost gets up around 25, 30, like where it should be, yeah. it's already gearing up. Mm -hmm. Which takes the fun out of it. You want the torque, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we'll find a spot to pull over and we'll put it up in track. I want to mat it one more time. <laughs> All right. Just see, like. It's like nothing there. Oh, that is. That's not even it. <laughs> that's not. Yeah, that, that's boring. <laughs> put it back. <laughs> Okay, so now we're in track level 10, and I made a video on my 2020 when I had it in track, and it was almost undrivable. So let's just see uh, what you think here, starting off from a stop. Chris, <laughs> is that normal? It's fun. Should we turn the traction control off? Go for it. Just so we get the full effect, because I'm guessing the traction control still does. Yeah, work. yeah, it doesn't like. Yeah. Advanced track off, so we can go sideways into a ditch. We can, yeah. How much is this truck? 103,000. That's it? That's it. That's fine. Yeah. Make that tomorrow, won't you? Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, yeah. It's instant. I'm just trying to disqualify <laughs> what you just said by pretending yeah. this is normal. There's some old people there. We're just going to act like everything's okay. It's taking a Sunday drive through the country. Beautiful place here. Oh, there actually might be construction up here. Don't see any. We're gonna have to. Oh, you don't see any? <laughs> oh, I, I didn't. I didn't put it. I didn't put it in fast enough. I mean, I'd be driving in this all the time. <laughs> it's like up to what, 50 miles per hour, and like zero time at all. Yeah. Yeah. The problem with these trucks is like with diesels in general. Once you get going so fast. It doesn't matter what you do; they're just you're just going too fast. It's really in the first, like sixty kilometers an hour. Yeah. Sixty. Well, I mean, like forty-five miles an hour that you're gonna get any, any fun out of a diesel. So we're gonna come into the highway here, and just we'll just pull on the highway, and you just, just ex. <laughs> <laughs> if that wakes out, that just wakes the truck right up. Just accelerate how you normally would, or just mat it, whatever you want to do. I'm just having fun, like, <laughs> giving little blips. Yeah, and it is just like a finger, like a and toe. And it gears down instantly, too. Yeah, it, it does. The transmission actually responds quite well. <laughs> Roll into it. Oh, yeah. Man, 
man, you could tear up like the tail of the dragon <laughs> with this thing. Because, yeah, because I'm not sure how many of your viewers watch my stuff, but I got the paddle shifter. Yeah. You don't need it with this. No. No. The truck is doing what I want it to do, gear down. Yeah. And holy God, we're off. <laughs> Get on a bike. Get on a bike. Get on a bike. We're responsible adults. Hey, buddy. He probably wants one of these one day. There you go. Little does he know he's never actually going to grow up if he does. <laughs> Get one. No. This is fun. Biggest toy around. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. It's like 300 bucks or 400 bucks or something. Oh, that's worth it. This is a whole different truck. I've... The gearing works so much better with this. Because I've always hated automatics, right? Because they yeah. never know what gear you want to be in. All right, so let's turn right here in the highway. This just... And you just decide what you want to do. This just knows <laughs> what you want. <laughs> oh. We left we left rubber. <laughs> I think there's rubber. I've never done that in a dually. <laughs> this is fun. This is like a car. It is. Yeah, something I noticed like my girlfriend's Civic yeah. has more torque than the truck starting off. Yeah. That's not right. No. But it's just the way that it's mapped. You don't get anything out of it. This just makes it feel but with this thing, yeah, you, so much better. You give it the gas, it gets the gas. Yeah. You go. Yep. You know? It delivers what you want. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I like it. That's addicting. I'm gonna get into my truck now and just weep. Oh, I know. It's when I uh, when I get into my mm. my 18, I get in that and I'm like, oh crap, where's the power? And this isn't like in a sport mode or anything. We're still in 10th gear. We're, like still, we're still, in normal, in still in normal drive mode. And shit, yeah, everything we, is we, fine. All right, let's say we're to go out and pass. We, <laughs> oh, it's, it's, oh wow. It shifts different. We could put it in tow haul and then it would really be dropping gears. Let's do it. Oh wow. Even just that little bit a at little, a higher speed, if you want more if you want more power, you get more power. A little blip. And it's smooth. Yeah, like your foot doesn't have to be going like this all the time. It's no. just it's comfy. Yeah, so if you drive your truck faster, if you like, because I have lots of friends who have these giant trucks, but drive them like sports cars. Yeah. This is what you need. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, I got a buddy, I think he told me he hit, like, I think he went 250 in his truck. Jeez. This is what that's meant for. <laughs> yeah. Right? People who want to enjoy their truck on a daily basis and, like, actually have fun driving. So, yeah, it's meant for that, for sure, but it's definitely in my perspective like I mentioned and I like it the most for when I'm towing so like accelerating from a stop like we just did um, you know whatever you're doing you got 30,000 pounds behind you and you'd swear to God you had 5,000 pounds behind you because you're putting no effort in when you got a heavy trailer and a truck stock you've got to put your foot down you're going up hills you know like when you're actually on the highway you're putting your foot into it to get that extra speed you're mad at sometimes with this you just pull up and casually push the pedal down and the thing just takes off. Like it just feels so light. It feels so light. Or you can burn rubber. Or you can burn rubber. Or you can burn a hell so of a lot can, of rubber. So you can do whatever you want to Pass do. Pass a lot of Priuses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the poor Prius. Okay, right. let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. This is nice. <laughs> you don't, but yeah, you don't get this from putting the pedal to the floor. You don't no, get it, that kind of yeah, it is an actually completely different feel. Yeah. Like I feel like I can feel the torque more with this than yep. if I just matted it in stock. Yeah, for sure. I was expecting like when you put it to the floor, it'd be the same as with this setup, maybe, you know, this much yeah. pedal actuation. Yep. Like I thought it just livened up the pedal. It's not, this thing is shifting better. It's shifting into the right gears. It's a whole different <laughs> it's a whole different setup and how everything draws it doesn't really it's a make, whole different drive and it really works it doesn't really make sense but it it's just so much nicer to drive it doesn't it doesn't make sense <laughs> and it is a lot more fun <laughs> i'm just having fun okay so something i just came up with when you when you're towing something i tow all the time um when you're going up a hill if I'm not in manual mode, so we're not talking about manual mode, we're talking about drive. I have to put my foot to the floor and then let off. 
so that I'm not just matting it up a hill with a lot of weight. So I'll have to kick it down, kick my the pedal in to make it shift and then balance the amount of power I want after that. With this, you can just set your power and it shifts right away. So it figures all that out itself. That's huge. <laughs> Yeah. It makes the automatic transmission just work better, and I could see that be amazing for towing. It is amazing for towing, and I actually confirmed with them that it does work on cruise control the same way as if you were actually using your pedal. Yeah, because that's a problem that I have, actually. I can't use cruise control towing, because even up the smallest grades, it just, the boost goes nuts, and it doesn't shift. Yeah. And it doesn't shift, it's not getting enough input, and then eventually when it does shift, well, now you're put back in your seat by just full out yeah. trying to keep up because it didn't shift early enough. Yeah. So if this thing works on cruise control, and you said it does? It does, yep. So like then the, that's a game changer. So like the truck, it's just like if you were going up a hill and you were your foot was doing a little bit of pressure, Yeah. the truck is doing a little bit of pressure, but the banks is changing, the pedal monster is changing what the truck is doing, whether it's your foot or cruise control. Mm -hmm. So if you're half throttle, whatever setting you have it on, the banks could be up in it to three quarters throttle in the gear that it's already in. Yeah. And then it does drop gears quicker. Sure, there are times where I'll know a big hill's coming and I'll just drop it two gears anyway because I know it's gonna drop the eight it if can, it needs yeah. to, but it, it it makes a world of difference while towing. That's really interesting. I'm gonna have to try it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try it. Well, next time you come down, we'll, uh, we'll have some gear around. I just love to see it shift properly on cruise control that'd be really nice to see because i can't use mine at all towing. <laughs> i always i use mine everywhere i go especially with the adaptive cruise yeah oh yeah no i love the adaptive <laughs> cruise but when yeah. i'm towing the thing will go i watch the boost gauge pin itself yeah and then it'll shift and then because i already lost that speed mm -hmm. right because now i already lost you know 10 15 kilometers an hour while the boost is building and then it finally shifts and then it's just flat out trying to pick back up and it's and then, then when you approach the vehicle in front of you, now it's on the brakes again. Yep. It's a yep. mess. Yep. It is a mess. Yep. But if this just, it knows it needs to shift, then it shifts. Game changer, 100%. It is a big game changer. So we're going to put it back in sport, and we're going to do it where I use it on a daily basis. Now that, you've been, now that you've been up in the track mode. I'm thoroughly disappointed. So we'll turn left out of here, and we'll head back. Okay. But our right, sorry. sorry, my other, my we, other, my other left. We sadly won't be going sideways around this way. You're good. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. My neck, my neck is able to deal with that. <laughs> but it's still there. Yeah, it's more lively. Yeah. Like I'd be having just, to put my pedal in a lot to get up this hill. Yeah. And here it's just. It's shifting. just so smooth. Like yeah. it just, it's just so smooth. The biggest difference I notice is the, is the shifting. Yeah. It's actually changing the shifting, which is amazing, considering this is just a plug-and-play device. Yeah. Take it out, it goes back to stock. No one ever knows it was there. That's nice. And if it does mess up where it is going through your OBD2 port, like a lot of them, they don't. And if it messes up, then your whole truck can basically be disabled. But this, it has spilt safes, just like the Derringer does. Okay, nice. That when it, if there's a problem, it just goes back to stock. Mm-hmm. Because it, yeah, yeah, it's plugged in. You gotta watch what you're plugging in to yeah. that OBD2 port. Like, yeah. You don't want to put Chinese junk in there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you, you got you gotta be careful. Yeah, I mean you can fry an entire truck through that port. Yeah. So now when you get back in your truck, you're gonna be calling me and saying, Yeah, this is not this ain't it. Can I take that device from <laughs> you or? <laughs> or I might be calling back and saying, Notice anything missing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is hidden well. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be hidden in my truck. <laughs> <laughs> the boost, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're just looking for the response while towing, because the boost takes forever when mm -hmm. you're towing. That is nice. So the modes are very different. The last one was like sporty responsive. This one here, you don't get that initial hit but it's building a lot more boost. Mm -hmm. So you're getting more torque instead of just that smack you in the face gear change. Yeah. Right, so it's, I can see that being a lot better for the transmission towing, because you don't want it yeah. locked up. Definitely. You don't want the torque converter locked up and just hitting hard all the time. Yeah. You're gonna tear stuff up, but this is building a lot more boost in the right gears that you'd need for towing. 
this system works really well. <laughs> I didn't. I was 100% skeptical. I, I was. I was yeah, thinking, like yeah, I, yeah, that's cute. It's a pedal enhancer. You know what they say about enhancers. Yeah. You know, not that I. Yeah. Yeah, it's not from. A, I remember, anyways, anyways. remember telling you a few months ago that you should try one of these things out. You're like, oh, I don't yeah. remember that because I dismissed it so hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't even remember that. Did you actually? Oh, yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah. Yeah, on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, the, the pedal enhancers. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, this is different. This is more than just a pedal feeling changer, I guess you could call it. This is, it changes everything. It's almost, oh, it's a tune. Yeah, it feels. That's, that's the word I'm avoiding, it, but that's the word I, that I keep looking for. Yeah. It feels like a tune. That's a dangerous word. But that's undetectable. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Because a truck feels pecker, feels more powerful, but it's not a tune. It's not a tune. So you can get some of the benefits of a tune, but without the reliability yeah. issues. So like, does it give your truck more power? No. Does it make your truck easier on fuel? Really, probably? No. But does it make your truck feel more powerful? 100%. Does it make your truck more enjoyable? Yeah. 100%. Yeah, and it's, it's safe. Yeah, and then that's the main thing, right? You gotta watch what you're doing with these trucks. Motors twenty thousand dollars, transmission twelve thousand dollars have changed. You don't want to mess around with stuff. No. So this being an easy plug and play, and uh, basically no risk. I mean, unless you spin out in track mode off the road, I mean that's <laughs> your problem. But yeah, to be able to just yeah. plug something in and have it work <clears throat> with no risk. Well, why sounds, not? Sounds like a good deal to me. Yeah. It just feels so torquey. Yeah, that's a lot of boost. And you don't have to wait for it. No. And like, it did feel better, honestly, <laughs> on my uh, 2020, mm -hmm. because I did have the air intake, and I did have the cold side and hot side, so yeah, I was so getting a bit more, bit more air, yeah. but the sound you get out of it too, yeah. sounded so much better. Yeah. And it did almost feel like like a deleted tune truck. When the guy who bought my truck, he came and he started it and he loaded it on his trailer. He rolled down his window and went, what is the noise this thing is making? <laughs> and anyway, he was like, whoop, 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 whoop. And the, he could hear the turbo. He's like, yeah. I have a 250 sitting right there and it does sound nothing like this. <laughs> so maybe that's why, that's one of the reasons this one sounds so different from mine. Maybe, yeah. It's because maybe. it's using the turbo more, it's making the turbo more lively and therefore the wastegate more lively. It, so you get that yeah it could you be get that that's one sound. thing you said right away is it sounded like this truck was deleted yeah <laughs> yeah and, and, and I get it yeah because I guess with tunes or with more airflow the wastegate is being active more but this probably does the same thing yeah it could but without the bad stuff <laughs> the bad stuff right, the bad stuff the EPA <laughs> oh god <laughs> alright so Mr. Skeptical not anymore I guess I don't think Redo that. I didn't mean to do this. I thought you were like finishing. <laughs> no, video. whatever. Go for it. Okay, cool. Edit that out, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will. I promise. So, so yeah. So Mr. Skeptical says, I, I, I'm a believer now. That uh, that did more than what I thought it did. I thought it would just, you know, make it more gassy, but uh, <laughs> gassy. <laughs> but yeah, it, it doesn't. It shifts better. It shifts differently. The different modes interact with the trailer differently all right guys so as you can see he was skeptical before skeptical no longer he wants one he he said after he was done driving it and sorry Kalen um, I know that I said I'd edit that little peace sign out but we lost the footage that we took after that so uh, it's it stays what can I say he loves it he uh, you guys see what he said about it um, he's gonna get a chance to tow Next time, they, next time he comes down, I'll definitely set it up. They'll do a video, and I'll have probably my 95 or my 080. He can haul, you know, 30, 32,000 pounds with it and see what, he, see what he thinks. But he was skeptical before. A lot of people are, oh, it's just a throttle booster or whatever. But it just changes all the dynamics of driving. It makes it so much more enjoyable to drive. I'm so used to it now. To go back to stock would be absolutely terrible. I don't think I could do it. I really hope that doesn't happen. But anyway, guys, as you can see, he loves it. He's getting one, one way or the other. But uh, that's gonna do it. So if you're looking to just make your vehicle more fun to drive, make the towing experience feel so much better, check it out. Check it out. Doesn't affect your warranty, doesn't affect your truck, doesn't do anything crazy. 
but it just feels so good. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you then. Bye.